and welcome to another episode of the WRFL Footy Show. My name is Kristen and in this episode we're at Kings Park Reserve for a special session with the St Albans girls teams. We'll chat to the assistant coach and a couple of the players about their goals for this season. Let's check it out. I'm here with Michael, the assistant coach of the under-18 St Albans girls team. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you going? Good. So can you tell us a little bit about the girls program that's been introduced this year at St Albans? Yeah, we, um, we haven't had a girls team before and our goal, because we had a lot of interest, was just to start up. It was originally under 15s, mm-hmm. but we had a mixed age group, so we made them under 18s and we're just trying to develop the girls really teach them how to play footy and have fun. And what's been the response like from the girls? Are they really eager to, to get on the footy field and, and play? Well, it has been harder than boys, I'm not going to lie, yeah. but they've been fantastic and they're really taking in what we're coaching. So, yeah, I think uh, we're looking up. Mm-hmm. And so tell us about tonight. You're having a special guest speak to the girls and run a few training drills with them. Yeah, we'll have Shannon McFadden down. Mm-hmm. She's um, got a great story, you know, coming from WRFL and her cancer struggles and stuff like that. So just a bit of inspiration for the girls. And, yeah, she's going to have a talk and then run through some drills. So ultimately, what's your goal for this season with the girls? Uh, Fun, really. We're not aiming too high or anything like that. You know, with the mixed age that we have, a lot of the girls are only 13, 14 years old. So we just want them to start to like footy and then we'll start developing a winning mentality from there. Are you expecting um, the interest in girls' footy to continue to grow over the next sort of couple of years? Absolutely. We're, um, we've been shocked about the number of girls that we've got, so I think it's only going to go up. Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm here with Morgan and Lacey from the St Albans Under-18 Girls Team. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So tell us a little bit about why you decided to, to play footy this year. Well, I played last season. I really enjoyed it, but I was a bit far from home, so I decided to come somewhere a bit closer. Mm-hmm. And how about you? I just joined footy because I started in school footy and then thought I liked it a bit more, so then just came and started playing domestic footy. And so how's it been this this season? Have you enjoyed playing with your friends and, and getting a game every week? Yeah, it's been really fun. I really missed it over the break, so it's been good to get back to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And your goal is uh, have, uh, to play AFL as a career? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hopefully one day. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. And so have you been, you've been inspired by the AFL women's season this year? Yeah, well, I, I'll be honest, I don't really watch much of the women's, but... Um, Yeah, surely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what's your goal for the rest of the season? Um, Probably to build up our skills, try and win a few games. And come back next season for a grand final. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. Hopefully it all goes well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Shannon. You're here to speak with the St Albans uh, girls teams tonight. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you'll be speaking to them about. Um, Look, I've been invited down just to have a chat to them about my footy story, Mm -hmm. um, about, I guess, how I got into footy and my journey throughout um, footy and the opportunities that women's footy's provided me. Um, Maybe a little bit about leadership and, um, you know, the right actions on and off the field and things like that. But um, realistically, just about the opportunities that footy can create for young women these days. For those who don't know a little bit about you, can you tell us a little bit about your um, footy experiences over the last few years? Yeah, the, over the last few years, um, probably more recent times, um, I was at St Kilda um, playing in the VWFL um, and I played my career out there. I also coached the St Kilda girls for a while and last year I actually pulled the boots back on and played at Deer Park. So um, we were lucky enough to win the premiership there. So that's the most recent um, footy footy stuff but previously played here and um, you know was able to be captain here and all that so I have really fond memories of St Albans um, and you know they've always been a great and supportive club of myself. So what's your advice to some of these girls now who are, are really wanting to put their best foot forward and play some some good footy? Um, yeah just get out have a kick um, make sure you um, take every opportunity I know there's plenty of opportunity for girls at all levels now so that's all all really good for them. Um, listen to your coach, mm-hmm. um, listen to your parents um, and just enjoy it. Just mm-hmm. really enjoy the game. Um, it's a game that's um, out there for everyone to, to play and um, yeah, grab up the opportunity with both hands and have a kick really. Can you believe how far the women's game has come since you first started to, to now? Uh, yes and no. Yeah. yeah, I think it was it was on its way, like there was momentum and I think with little things along the way, there was um, definitely um, an interest mm-hmm. in women's footy. And uh, to see where it is now um, is 
yeah, I feel a little bit proud um, to have been a part of the history and also I'm hoping to be part of the future as well. Mm -hmm. So, Well, thank you for joining us. Good luck for the future. Thank you.